Okay, so I'm here to talk about optical and radio telescopes. So first I'll start with radio telescopes. So radio telescopes listen to the radio waves emitted by extraterrestrial sources such as stars, quasars, which is on the left, and black holes, which is on the right. And these extraterrestrial sources all emit radio waves, which can be seen through the radio uh, telescope. Okay, so income. Uh, sorry. Uh, so radio telescopes must be very big to collect the radio waves and focus them onto a, rece a receiver and amplifier, where then a computer will translate them to, into images and where the images will dis be displayed in the observatory or the lab. The order kind of got mixed up, so... And then, uh, so the first radio telescope was built by Carl Jansky. It was actually discovered accidentally and it was uh, after World War II where astronomers Astronomers adapted radio antenna technology, which was formerly used to detect enemy warplanes. So they translated that to detect radio waves coming from space. So the advantage of a radio telescope over an optical telescope is that radio telescopes can be used during the day and on cloudy nights. And this is crucial because Optical telescopes can't really see stars in the daylight, and optical telescopes also can't see stars if the night is if the night is cloudy. But radio telescopes can see through these barriers. Uh, radio telescopes are also unaffected by atmospheric distortion. But the downside is that uh, radio telescopes don't have that much of a clear image as optical telescopes do. So as you can see here. On the left is a radio telescope image, and on the right is, a opt is an optical telescope. Yeah. Okay. So now for optical telescopes. Optical telescopes collect light from the visible spectrum and magnifies it so you can um, see it better. So uh, there is no additional specialized equipment besides the use of mirrors and lenses. So first, let's, there are three main types of optical telescopes. The first being refracting telescopes. Refracting telescopes only uses lenses. They were previously used in spyglasses, astron astronomical telescopes, and long focus camera lenses. Uh, they're not as popular now as uh, there have been better, better telescopes that have been created that have, uh, have outmatched these telescopes. So the advantages of the refracting telescope is that it's a low maintenance and it has high contrast with sharp images. It also has the least, uh, it also loses the least light because it's simply using lenses and when you, when you keep shining light into mirrors, eventually some of the light will actually lose some of it, its brightness. So that's why refracting telescopes tend to be brighter. Uh, so yeah, and you can see in this diagram how it works. So, the second type is reflecting telescopes. Reflecting telescopes utilize mirrors. So uh, it was invented in 17th century as an alternative to the refracting telescope. It's better for viewing objects that are larger in diameter than the refracting telescope. The advantages of the reflecting telescope are that you can view faint astronomical bodies well uh, better unlike the refracting telescope because the refracting telescope has a bit of trouble with that. It is also considered the cheapest of the three main types of telescopes in terms of sign Aperture. And uh, however, the because 
the, ref the reflecting light utilizes mirrors, it also loses some some light. Final type of telescope is the catadio catadio trick telescope. Uh, this is by far the most advanced. Telescope, uh, it's the most professional and it's able to focus on more distant objects and those that reflect less light. So it's better in every way. It's also like a newer model of optical telescopes. It utilizes uh, specifically shaped mirrors and lenses to form a clear image. <laughs> so it's considered the best type of the three main optical telescope types. The advantages are that it has the most, it is the most accurate of the three main types. It can focus, and it's, it's the best at focusing on distant and near objects. The disadvantages, however, let's uh, see if we can be more rude during this presentation. I don't think it's possible. I guess I can start singing at the top of my lungs or something, but you're all being terrible. So let's try and give Jonathan an audience. He's giving us a presentation. If this was a movie theater, you'd all be getting kicked out. So the disadvantages of the cateoptric telescope is that because it utilizes mirrors, it also has a bit of light loss as well. It is also the most expensive of the three optical telescopes. And this is one of the telescope uh, Hadri optic telescopes in Vancouver in an observatory, so it's not just those little telescopes, there's also big observatories. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay, Gloria.